Hello and welcome to Clusters. We left Paul at the end of chapter 15, heading into Syria and Cilicia with his new companion Silas. He was one of the men chosen to take the letter from the Council of Apostles and Elders to Antioch to clear up the whole circumcision controversy we looked at last time. Cilicia was a Roman province in southeastern Turkey, but after that Paul heads north into the region of Galatia and to the cities of Derby and Lystra which he'd visited before back in chapter 14. He's gone there to meet with a young man named Timothy, who he wants to take along with him to train him up. But before they leave, Paul has him circumcised. Now, following on from the controversy discussed in chapter 15, why do you think he does that? It's a pretty unpleasant procedure, especially for an adult, and according to the council last time, totally unnecessary. So why do it? The band of brothers move on, preaching through the regions of Phrygia and Galatia, both large areas within modern-day Turkey. However, they're prevented from entering the region of Bithynia to the northwest. But why? Well, that seems to be answered in a dream Paul has of a man from Macedonia pleading with them to go there. They decide this is indeed from God and head off to the region north of Greece. Luke, the author of Acts, now writes in verse 10 that we got ready indicating that Luke himself has now joined the team. The visit to the chief city of the district, Philippi, begins excitingly as they travel outside the city walls to meet a number of women, including Lydia. She enters our story as a worshipper of God, probably a Gentile convert to Judaism, and becomes a believer in Christ. But why? Who or what ultimately convinced her to believe? And who or what convicted us? As a result, the whole household is baptised. As the group continue preaching through the streets of Philippi, they're followed by a young demon-possessed girl who keeps yelling, these men are servants of the Most High God who are telling you the way to be saved. Which is weird, because that's precisely what they are doing. The demon in the girl seems to be giving the missionaries free publicity. But after several days of this, Paul is perhaps upset by the girl's suffering at the hands of the demon and demands it leave her. But the girl's handlers, for want of a better term, aren't happy and go to the authorities. Paul and Silas are arrested, beaten and jailed. And we might well ask, where is God in all this? But the astonishing events of that night lead to the miraculous conversion of the man set to guard them. It's a truly wonderful story that leads to, an, to a second entire household being baptised. But then in one final twist, Paul announces that both he and Silas are Roman citizens, a status that specifically exempts them from being beaten. And so greatly alarmed, the city authorities have them as escorted from the jail. Once again, you'll find questions to guide you through below this video. And if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask and have a great cluster.